all right folks today we are going to work on changing this ball or this uh gosh what is this this is the Pittman arm tie rod end right here and as you can see it's uh it's in pretty bad shape so been leaking for a while so I've already got this loose and uh, just got the cotter pin out of that castle nut and I'm gonna work on getting that big nut off of the pitman arm and see if I can't get the pitman arm off so might be using the OTC pulley puller on this one so y'all stay tuned bear with me all right everybody after about 10 just 10 minutes i put some heat on it and put a crescent wrench right here now keep in mind this is a right hand thread so as you can see it's it's moving easy now got the i put the heat on it some pb blaster and this thing is just shot. Yeah. So I'll get this out of here, get it cleaned up, and get the red neck the new one ready to go. So stay tuned. All right, everybody. I got the new one in here. And it is a left-handed thread, contrary to what I probably said a while ago. I'm gonna run this in. And I took some measurements earlier from the edge of the, the uh, bar to the end of the threads was 0.77 inches. Now all this, this is all going to have to get a an alignment after all this is done anyway. But this will at least get me close to where it was. So let me get this put back in here and. bring it back when I get her in. Okay, got her right there to point seven seven inches. That's gonna obviously get me in the ballpark, so let me uh, get this buttoned up and I'll bring it back. Point seven seven. All right, folks. We moved over here to the passenger side to get this uh, end. Trying to get this end out here. So I got to get this castle nut out, get this pin out, and get this busted out of here. And then uh, do the same thing on this side as we did the other end. So let me show you the other end. Where'd you go? There it is. Party. So I gotta measure. Take a quick measurement here. Get my flashlight in here. from here to the end of the thread is 0.51 let me make a note of that and we'll get to work see y'all in a bit all right everybody this pile of carnage is what 30 years of abuse and neglect looks like got the ball joints there here's the steering shaft that I had to cut in half just to get it out it was seized up right here 
as you can see nasty U joints were about to fail on it so much slop in there and uh, here's here's the uh, steering wheel bearing there's actually three or four ball bearings missing out of there <clears throat> I apologize for not uh, showing you this whole struggle, but let me tell you, it was a, a struggle getting this stuff out of there. I had to use so much map gas, so much. Uh, there's my best friend right there. That stuff right there is amazing. And also, coming up on a Tools on Tuesday episode, is this amazing thing here uh this ball joint press oh man that 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 makes a world of difference i'll do a video on that along with the uh, uh jeep and chrysler adapters there that, that oh man huge huge difference but we've got other projects going on too we've got as you can see we got some diamond plate going on here i've got one more piece to put on the jeep and uh, let me pan around here and show you the Jeep. Oh, wait. It runs so good now, she's driving the heck out of it. It won't sit still long enough. <laughs> she loves her Jeep. Got a few more things to do to it. Fuel filter, a couple more sensors, and uh, going to get her oil change and probably uh, change all the fluid in the diffs and the transfer case and the transmission and oh and an air filter Ooh, yeah I got that coming too and then she'll be good as new so I appreciate y'all being here and again I apologize for not showing you how I took all this stuff out but the video would have been so long it took me two days to do all this um, it was a struggle but it was well worth it she runs and steers great now no slop in the in the steering you don't feel like you're going to change lanes whenever you hit a bump <laughs> all right so this is the lawnmower detective and again i apologize for not uh filming all that but i was going to but it would have just been riddled with beep 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 i would have had to pretty much censor the whole thing out unfortunately i'm not proud of that but anyway here's what's left You all don't forget, it's donut time. It has been a pleasure having you all here. Please don't forget to give this video a like and please subscribe. Last but not least, click the notification bell so you will know when new videos are posted. Thanks to all of you for your support.